Um, so I've been doing exactly what you said, yep. uh, projecting my feelings towards my pr- parents onto God. Yep. Um, so are you saying that I, just through my use of my will, I can just stop doing that right now? Mm-hmm. You can. And just, uh, so just completely stop. Do it You've like got to find the reason why you did it. Yep. Emotionally. There's an emotional reason why you do it. So let's look at the issue. You've got here on the one hand, you've got all of these things. Let's call this your so-called feelings. And I'll put it in quotes, just you know, so you know it's not necessarily your real feelings towards God. And then we have our reasons for doing that. Does that make sense? Yep. And then we have underneath that what we have avoided doing that. You follow? Now, can you see these feelings towards God are basically imaginary? Well, yeah, they're just what I feel towards my parents. Yeah, but you're, you're making that presumption because it might not just be your parents. It might be what happened at school. It might be what happened with older siblings and so forth. It's all family of origin stuff or, or you could say your childhood stuff. Yeah. You, at this stage, you're making some assumptions about what that is. Okay. right? But, but you can see, though, that if I discover my reasons for doing that, which are emotional, so remember these are emotional are emotions that I'm going to have to feel, right? If I can discover those reasons and, 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 and work through them, what becomes plain to me then yeah, is... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise you were asking me. Um, yeah, all the pain that I have avoided. That you've chosen to avoid yeah. through that process. Yeah. So, so the very first thing you're going to have to do is look at the reasons why you've done that. Okay, so I won't just be able to... You won't be able to just get to the emotions themselves without first processing through the emotional reasons why you've decided to blame God rather than associate that with it. And there's reasons. like, And a lot of that is to do with that. If I actually put the um, responsibility of these emotions on my parents, highly likely I'll probably get even worse treatment from my parents. Yeah. And And then we go, well... No, that's not a good thing. I want better treatment from my parents. And so we avoid the processing of the reasons. Does yeah, well, this is something I've just been thinking about lately because I was re-watching some stuff from the previous, uh, the 2014 assistance group. Yep. And yeah, I realised that um, I, I just hadn't wanted to even accept that my parents had created, uh, you know, I wasn't thinking about school or anything then. But um, yeah, so I feel like that's really prevented me from growing and processing through emotions yeah see see the only way we can actually be become more open to god is by processing through emotions that prevent us from becoming more open to god and if if our feelings are that if i process through my emotions towards god and finish up not having any towards god then i'll do a whole heap of things that will make other people upset and angry Mm. and then you can see there's an imperative to not do it yeah. And this is what many of us are living in. We're living, we've chosen already. We've yeah. chosen to not do it. And we've chosen to not go ahead with that processing because of what our, because we value the relationships more than we value our relationship with God, mm. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yep. you.